tell nobody. Coach gave me an extra few minutes. He think I actually like it here in OKC. Honestly, I'm trying to get the heck up out of here. Everybody in OKC. I ain't trying to be no statistic. I'm just trying to build my clock up, build my stock up, and you know, get traded. But don't tell nobody. Keep it between me and you. But as I get substituted in the game against Corey Brewer, and I hate this dude. The simple reason, because he get cocky just because he did a little bit of something. And right there, as we get this steal, you know I'm running down court. Get that boy running Terry off trailing. But as I go over the simple slam on that fast break, just slamming it down, man. Not doing nothing too special. Not, not stepping out of my comfort lane. We over trying to play some defense. He pulling up that three. End up missing. I'm trying to rebound. You already know. Small guy trying to do big things. Pushing the ball down court. He end up stopping me. They getting double teamed. The ball goes loose. Corey Brewer get the steal. He on the fast break and goes up with a nice two hand jam. Now he getting cocky. And I ain't liking that. So I'm over trying to cross him up. And I don't think I can get him to fall for anything. So he moving around. Give it to D Fish. Uncle Ball here pulling up for that three. Bucket. I'm just glad he actually made the three. Because you know Derek Fisher getting old. He had like a shriveled up ass raisin or something. I don't know. But that's all I did for the first quarter. Coming back in the second quarter. Still on the bench, man. But you know I'm moving around. Getting the handoff. Trying to cross over. Creating a space. Oh, hitting with the half step. Decided to pull up. And I end up going behind the rim. Shooting up a crazy shot. Just a total miss. I put too much moves on there. Like I just messed up the whole complete play. But right there, you see him moving around, shooting a corner jumper. And Corey Brewer just stepping out of his lane. But look at them getting offensive rebound. Like, what is y'all doing? But Kendrick Perkins' defense, his aggressiveness slowed him down. You know, I'm moving the lane. End up going over the hop step, layup. Just finishing off the play. I could have threw the ball out, hopeful assist. But, you know, if you want to get the job done, you got to do it yourself. I can't trust these bums, especially Jeremy Lamb, man. He's a scrub. But, like I said... At the end of this video, y'all will see me requesting for three teams. And I will let y'all see the three teams I'm requesting to. Just So stay tuned, man. Just stay tuned to this video. I'm right there, you trying to pull up in my face. End up missing. We get the rebound. You know I'm calling for it. Three people down here. Up, zigzagging. Right through the defense. Up, pump fake. End up going over the tough layup. Try to get the foul, but I didn't get it. No whistle was blown. I guess that's just how Minnesota is. And I hate that I really can't dunk too well. I can't posterize nobody right now because, you know, I ain't got my skills up yet. But I'm guaranteed, y'all. When I get my skills up, do these drills, go to the training, and, you know, hit up my boy Kobe. You know, he got a couple of training camps with, running with me this weekend. And, you know, he's going to help me better with my game. You know, he's going to send me over a few takes that he used for himself. And right there, you see Westbrook shooting it, trying to get the offensive rebound. Shavi, you know, pushing the ball down court. This shot for J.J. Barrea. J.J. Barrea tried to finish so finesse, but he ends up missing. And I'm calling for it off the wing, but Westbrook get it. Throw a nice bounce pass to the defense as I split the defense, go over a left-hand layup. Just finishing off that great pass. Look at that. Westbrook out there throwing darts. <laughs> and that was a bullseye pass. Right off the inbound, got him jumping out of the sneak. He's going over the one hand, two hand jam. You know, I'm putting two together, man. Patty cake. What? But y'all see when I get sub back into the game, they trying to come back. It's Kevin Love shooting that three right on Baca face. Oh my God. He sprayed the mess out of this dude. Coach sent me out. They came back. Now they're down about two points. And Kevin Love hit another three. Hold on. Rewind that clip. We need a better angle of that. JJ Barrera gives it to Kevin Love as he hits the three. Oh, my Jesus. Got a one-point lead. Now y'all know I give it to the clutchest player on this court, KD. And KD trying to send him up a pick. He gives it to a Baca. Baca ended up going over the nice floater. Ends up getting a bucket. We get a one-point lead. We just got to get a stop. Playing some defense. We in the zone right now. I'm on K-Love. And why is Ronnie Terry off wide open? Oh, my goodness. I guess because he's a non-factor. Coach drew up the plan to give me the ball. Everybody know the ball was going to go to KD. So, they gave me the ball. And I'm putting this dude in the post. Shoot it from behind the backboard. Hit the top. Rolls in for the clutch bucket. Give us a one-point lead. Like, why am I so good? Like, everything that I do is just a reflex to the bull crap and you know, to the defense or whatever I react to. But I'm trying to play defense. We're trying to get a stop. K-Love throw up a floater. End up missing. Ibaka gets the defensive rebound. And they fouling us. Now, we ain't in foul trouble yet. We on the inbound. And they give me the ball. And they end up fouling me with 1.1 seconds left on that clock. I'm at the free throw line. You already know the first one going up. And that's going to fall down. I feel no pressure when I step to the line. No pressure at all. 16 points, one assist, no rebounds. Second go up, give me 17 points. Three point lead with 1.1 seconds left. They got to launch the ball down court and end up almost making it. Almost making it, tipping the rim. They had a timeout. They probably end up tying the game and sent to the game in overtime. But now we in game two. You already know. And this time we're going against these Dallas Mavericks in our house. 
So you know we better try to turn up in here, right? Yeah, you know. But for some reason, I don't know why Monte Ellis is not starting. I, I think he might, he maybe be injured or something. I don't know. But me, I'm playing on Wayne Ellington. They moving around. Give the ball to Jay Crowder. Crowder, try to give it off to Brandon Wright. And Brandon Wright get his shot sent so you know I'm running down court for this fast break. Trying to dish it off. He passed it way too short. But I go over the simple layup. Trying to draw the foul, but I couldn't get it. And you know, I'm calling him for it. Got Wayne Ellington on me. You know I'm about to try to mix him up. Crossing over, hit him with the hesitation, and put him in this post. Hop stepping, trying to go up, and he makes the ball goes loose. And they pushing it to Jay Crowder. Jay Crowder going all the way as he dished it off. And they try to get a nice finish, but caught it wrong, get the goal 10. Well, he is the points after the goal 10. And since he got a steal on me, it's only right. I got a steal back on him. And I dish it right off to my boy Baka as he goes over a nice one hand jam. Just slamming it down so aggressively. With the first quarter coming to an end. Your shot clock is ticking. No Westbrook, no KD. I got the ball on my hand. Decided to pull up right in his face. Bucket. Hit him with a nice facial. Uh, just spraying this dude. Just building up some momentum for the second quarter. You already know. Man, mascot can go ahead and dance, but he ain't, he ain't known that today. Now that we in the second quarter, I start off on the bench. I don't know why coach keep putting me on the bench to start off games, quarters, and everything. It doesn't make sense. My bring Crowder out trying to get my big man set up on that mismatch. He decided to get the ball back. What is you scared? He decided to see the shot clock ticking down for real to millisecond. He decided to pull up a quick jumper and give me an assist right there. I don't know what his scarce is. And this boy, Vince Carter, decides to rise up, get a simple layup. Talking trash on his way back down to the other end? Mm-mm. I'm not having that, especially for my old dude. I respect you. You're one of my favorite dunkers, but yo, <laughs> don't ever start running your mouth like I ain't the new prodigy in this league right now. I am the man, but in the second quarter, I did nothing but score that one bucket. The score is 48 to 41. Coach didn't even give me too much clock, which I kind of just don't understand. When I'm in the game, I do something. And this boy, Vince Carter, tried to dunk on me. He had to sit that ball down. As you see me and KD pushing the rock down the court, he decides to take off going over the slam. Ducking on that boy Dirk, man. You ain't had to do my boy like that, but yo, nice finish. We got a five-point lead on Dallas, and you know we're trying to stop him. Devin Harris got the ball. He looking for a bailout. He don't know what to do with the rock. The ball's loose. Dirk end up saving it. You know I'm on that fast break. VC trying to stop me, but I go over the two-hand easy slam. I can't even call that a slam. I laid the ball in, though. But look at Dirk saving the ball from Devin Harris mess up, and I'm going in just finishing it. Just, just finishing it. Nothing too much. Nothing too much. To, oh, my bad. I'm always about to see some Drake. But look at that. Varys pulling up that three. Ended up getting the offensive rebound. VC trying to do something with it. Don't know why he didn't pull it back up. What is he doing? He drunk or something? But we still in that same possession. They just wasted so much clock. Look at Devin Harris trying to go with the finesse layup. Think he doing something like, yo, we was just tired of just watching you bounce the ball. That's all it was. That's all it was. But I got VC on me. And I see them, them knees looking kind of shaky. Look at that. All that space I create him. Look. Got him slipping. Not snap that net. <laughs> just snap that net. <laughs> but I'm saying, though. VC almost got that Paul Pierce treatment. Y'all remember when Paul Pierce got, <laughs> got his ankles broken by Joe Johnson? <laughs> Oh my goodness, that was too funny. He just, <laughs> he just collapsed. But playing some great defense, Derek Fisher get the rebound. You know I'm pushing it. Only person down there shot Marion as I try to test his gangster. And I end up getting an easy layup. Yes, I said easy layup because that's not the same Sean Marion from the Phoenix Suns. You know, the, the real defensive Sean Marion. You know, he had a couple of good years and, and with the Mavericks. But right there, messing up KD, getting it in his way. VC decides he didn't want to rise up, but end up <laughs> had to slow down and just let the ball fall in. Because he ain't the same VC, man. I was just talking about age with Sean Mann, but VC, though, I don't know. But me getting off his rebound, hitting it with that nice Kobe spin move. And, yes, I've been watching them boy tapes. I've been watching them tapes since college. That's why I got the post moves on lock. I just don't understand. Why I even bench me with 1.7 seconds left? Like, really? What's going to happen 1.7 seconds left? Why are you on the free throw line? I don't know. But look at that nice pass. Give it to a buck as I get a nice... Easy assist right there. And as of right now, we just trying to close out this game. And I'm going coast to coast like LeBron decided to go up to finish the play. But I end up missing. Kendrick Perkins getting the offensive rebound and just finishing off what I started. And I get benched again. Like, why? Why? And they end up putting me in for the last couple seconds. I'm about to make it matter. And, you know, I'm getting a ball back, getting off the handoff. About to go to my boy Cam moves as I do the hop step jumper buckets. Want that for my big bro Cam. Cam told me how to do the hop step jumper, and I just reflected this so well. Just so nice. And the referees know it was no time left on that clock. They know it was a buzzer beater, but they, they want to show the courtesy and, and their appreciation of the match coming out with some great sportsmanship. But I ain't about all that. 
But see right here, I decided to go with Nike, man. I'm never going to be up under another player. I'd rather be up under another company. Because you know Jordan are actually still up under Nike. And right here, I'm about to select to do my teams. But hold up, I got my little cousin right here, man. He quit ba Why quit bouncing that ball. Like quit. To I swear to God, if you mess up this commentary, I'm going to slap him. I'm going to slap him. Don't. Bruh, don't. Bruh. Why? Do not throw that ball. Oh, my I'm goodness. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Get out. Get out. Go home. Go home.